And uh, if you don't want to know the result of the women's race, look away now. You can uh, press, uh, press mute. So it was uh, Ava Lechner leading out. And again, Celine Del Carmen Alvarado, Anna Reversed, Yara Castline, Sana Kant, Lucinda Brand all coming through towards the front. A really select front group. And again, dominated by the Dutch. For Castellite Cat and Verst, though, they all came together and uh, a little tumble. They were delayed and it left the front group as Lucinda Brandt and uh, Celine Alvarado. Alvarado leading through again. Uh, Lucinda Brandt's phenomenal road rider behind. The trio were trying to come back to the front, but they would run out of laps to do so. In the sprint, Alvarado led out. Lucinda Brandt came over the top to take her second victory of the season for the Telenet Bawas Lions, while Anna Marie first managing to outsprint Sarnikan and Yara Kastelein to take third place, 17 seconds down. There was your top 10. Lucinda Brand from Celine Del Carmen Alvarado versus Kant Kastelein, Azufi Lechner, Bodonchkot and Van der Stiener all up there in the top 10. There was your podium. Lucinda Brand from Celine Del Carmen Alvarado and uh, Anna Marie first into the men's race. And uh, Matthew Vanderpool starting his watch as they kicked off on the opening lap. And Tim Malia getting delayed. Vanderpool leading in to the sand. But from this point, it really got into a really exciting race. Absolutely, yeah, and you can see some of the riders are taking that outside, but using all of downtown court strike to its fullest. Erwin Verveka with the uh, course layout here, the brand new uh, Urban Cross here in court strike, and um, it was uh, an interesting first half of the race. With you see Corne Van Kessel here, really feeling like he had a good day in his legs and uh, taking a huge opportunity to ride the front. Vanderpool though realizing that there was danger ahead as he figured out the track in the first half of the the day um, and then having to close up the gap it was mayhem in the pits there were riders and bikes going everywhere as they had to switch because of this muddy section that you see here past the vip vanderpool of course made his way back across to the front got a little bit impatient we could see it in his eyes deciding here boom laying down a massive attack and taking away probably five seconds 10 seconds and then it was a lot more but there it was michael van tornhout saying to Eli easterby hey man come on what's going on were you back there having coffee uh vanderpool's riding away with this one so vanderpool though able to make it through and there it was tune air it's having a brief moment just not 100 percent on the course no major problems still able to make it on the podium even with that mistake and vanderpool able to take the last half lap off off the gas and um just able to uh to relax a little bit but not the case from the chase group tim merlier drilling it very close to his home where he calls home vanderpool taking the win out uh and making time for the fans giving high us, five giving in the clap. crowd good Absolutely. to see matthew vanderpool high five in the crowd as he came in to take the victory today the local man behind though as the group came in to the finish tim merlier opening up the sprint great power that today a Krifan freestads rider has he took second place while uh Tonarts, corny van kessel were battling it out for that next spot on the podium there's confirmation of your top 10 matthew vanderpool from tim malia Tonarts, corny van kessel elisabeth van toren out van der Haaf, david vanderpool jim arnouts and tom may urson was your top 10 today